Hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In this video, I want to go over some trade data that I have been collecting um, that revolves around some iterations I've made from this directional iron fly bot that I have been um, testing for quite some time now. So if you're new to the channel, um, what this iron fly bot is, is a um, options trading bot that looks to trade in the direction of the SPY trend. So I'm only using the ETF SPY, which tracks the S&P 500. Um, I'm determining the trend, or at least the bot is determining the trend using the 5 and the 14 EMA. And wherever that trend is leading, whether it's bull, bear, or neutral, um, this bot will open up an iron fly or iron butterfly, three strikes in the direction of that trend, um, anywhere from a three to five day DTE. Uh, options trade and it looks to take 10% uh, profit or a 20% stop loss. So I've made this bot using option alpha and I have an affiliate link down in the description if you want to check it out. There's also a video as well on my channel of how you can get a free options alpha account by connecting it to a qualified trader account. Uh, but in any case, I've been testing this directional iron fly bot uh, for several months now, and it's um, consistently performing very well, um, given the you know the trend changes that we've had in the markets recently. So what I wanted to do in this video is show you the data of uh, a couple of iterations that I've made, and I wanna compare it to my original bot. And so um, here is the profit and loss chart for this bot, and you could see that the um, starting date was in May, uh, so the end of May, May 30th, 2023, and it's been performing quite well since then. So what are these changes that I've made and have been testing? Okay, what you see here is a candlestick chart of SPY, and this is a 15-minute candlestick chart, so um, obviously each candle represents 15 minutes. And what I'm showing also down here in the indicators, this white line is the uh, 5 EMA and this orange line is the 14 EMA. So th what the bot is looking at is to, first of all, make sure that, or if the price of SPY is above the 5 EMA and the 5 EMA is above the 14 EMA, then it's going to open up a bullish iron fly. So if we reverse that and let's say the price was below the 5 EMA and the 5 EMA was below the 14 EMA, then it would open up a bearish iron fly. And if neither of those conditions are met, for example, um, if the price was in between the EMAs and it didn't matter which one was on top or not, um, then it would open up a neutral iron fly. Um, or if price was above the 5 but the 5 was below the 14, then again, a neutral iron fly. So it has to be a clear direction of these uh, of the price and the EMA stacked in a specific manner in order for it to go long or uh, in a clear uh, direction in which the price is below the EMAs stacked in a specific um, way in order for it to go short. What I'm testing here, though, is how far in the direction of the trend should this bot be placing those center strikes. So let's look at this example. You can see um, I made this a 15 minute chart because that way you can see where the noon is uh, a lot easier. So right here was noon and we can see the price was above the five and the five EMA was above the 14. So it's gonna open up a bullish iron fly. So here the price is about, uh, let's just make it even say 458. You can see on the right hand side on the axis 458. So the bot's default is to go three strikes higher than the um, than the current price. So three strikes higher than 458 would be 461 and that would be way up here. Let me move this down just a little bit. So 461 would be way up here. This is where the center strike would be. And the idea is that the trend would continue and the price would move into the profit zone of the iron fly and then exit for a 10% profit. And, and we can see that, yes, the price did move higher. So I would imagine this iron fly uh, was a winner. Now, is that the best location though, to put it that far ahead um, into the trend? So we started at 458. What if we just went to 459 instead? So that would be right about here in this area. Or what if we just went to 460, which would be about here in this area? So going one strike in the direction, two strikes in the direction, or three strikes in the direction. That's what I really wanted to um, test, and that's the data that I wanna show 
here. All right, so I plotted this data in Google Sheets, and the first trade that was open in this data set is uh, October 20th, uh, 2023, and there are 34 trades, I think. Yeah, 34 trades. One is still open with this bot, um, but all the way up until December 7th. So uh, 34 trades in. Um, here's what the data are showing. So this first one, this is the solid yellow line. This is the original 10 strike wide 10% profit target, 20% stop loss, directional iron fly with a three strike skew. So that means once the trend is determined, it's going to place the center strikes three strikes in the direction of that trend. So in our example on uh, that spy chart, the price was 458, so it was a bullish iron fly, so the center strikes would be at 461. So that's what this one is right here. So with the um, two strike skew, this is going to be the dashed line in the line chart. With a one strike skew, this is going to be the dotted line in this line chart. All right, now you can see just from these first three yellow ones to start off with, in terms of profit over these last 34 trades, we can see that the three strike skew, this is the original 10, 10, 20 directional iron fly. This one performed the best in terms of um, uh, just in, in pure profitability. In terms of win rate, however, it was the worst of these three, 67.6% versus 70.6% versus 76.5%. Um, now, there is one ca caveat here, and that is this one that is uh, highlighted down here in this orange color, and this was with the two strike skew. You can see the big loss here was negative $281. And if we looked at this particular trade over an option alpha, so here's the two strike um, skew, directional iron fly, and we look for this $281 loss uh, right here. You can see what happened is if I show all the trades, it opened uh, on November 10th and on November 13th, it tried to close at 10.05. And then it tried several times throughout the day. However, none of it, um, None of these orders were filled. You can see it tried to take profit at 10.1%, um, but none of it was filled. And so it no longer uh, was in profit, uh, apparently after 10.50 a.m. on November 13th. So the bot stopped trying to take profit because it wasn't at the target yet. However, when um, the bot or when the market opened the following morning, this was already at a negative 60.9% um, loss. And so the bot automatically closed because it had breached the 20% stop loss. So you can see it, it had a major loss right here of $281 when in fact it ready it already was in profit, it just couldn't get the correct fill price. So um, that is one caveat uh, to this set of data. So if I saw that in real time, um, you know, maybe I would have tried to close it manually by, you know, giving up a little bit of profit. But if it would have closed at $46, then this is what the result would be. So we'd have a 73.5% win rate and we have a $394 profit. Um, and so obviously that one would be better than the three strike skew. But if we're just letting these bots um, run in the background, then of course the three strike skew is doing the best. So I'll just continue uh, with the three strike uh, skew. I think that seems to work the best. So another advantage of just going three strikes wide is that you get a lot better credit than you do if you only go two strikes or one strike in the direction of the trend. All right, so here is the original um, three strike skew. Iron fly or the 10, 10, 20 iron fly. You can see the risk is $518. So um, this is a 10 strike wide iron fly. So 10 strikes on either side. And so the um, the, the average credit that you'd be receiving would be $1,000 minus this 518. So that'd be $482 in average credit. So with a 10% profit target, that would be about $48, $49. So $482 is what the average credit is that you'd be receiving, 482. If we go over to the two strike skew, so only two strikes in the direction of the iron fly, the risk is $537. That means the average credit would be $463. So it's about $20 less than the credit you're receiving if you go with three strikes in the direction of the trend. And then finally for the one strike, you can see that the average risk is $548, meaning that the average credit would be $452. Um, so again, that's about $10 less in credit than the two strike um, skew and about $30 less in credit than the three strike 
skew. So you're getting more credit the further you go out, um, which makes sense, but also there's less risk the further you go out in terms of you know, catastrophic failure of this particular trade. So that is a, a, an advantage that I like is that there is more credit to be received up front. And as long as the price is still moving in the direction of the trend, it doesn't have to move completely um, to the center strikes. It just has to move in the direction of the trend from where it currently was at open. And most likely you'll be able to get that 10% profit target. So back to this chart, um, you can see that the solid line, obviously that's the, um, the three strike and is better than the other two in terms of profitability, not in terms of win rate. All right. The other thing that I wanted to show you right here is this free range um, directional iron fly. I had a free range bot quite a while ago and it was performing really great and then all of a sudden it just um, it just reversed directions and uh, it was losing pretty badly so I just turned that one off that was a paper trading bot um, but I was just wanting to keep track to see how you know a free range iron fly would do so I wanted to do the same thing with a directional iron fly someone had commented and asked about it what if we just let the iron fly go um, and not take any profits not have a stop loss so actually I I guess I misnamed this. This actually should just be a 10 free range because it's a 10 strike wide iron fly, but there's no profit target. There's no stop loss. So, so sorry about that. That should be actually a 10 free range. Now, what happened here? You can see $200 uh, has been made over these last 34. I think this one had 33 trades, 33 trades, and it had an 81.8% win rate. So, I mean, it, it won very frequently. It just didn't produce as much profit as um, by, you know, as the uh, three strike um, skew. And that's because you're not locking in profits. You're just letting it go until the day before expiration. And then this is what happens. So you can see there are some pretty big losses, negative 276, negative 386, negative 438. But you really don't have that big of gains. I mean, these gains are about the same as much, is, is about the same uh, as the gains you're going to get from um, these other bots if you just locked in profit. I don't really see one that is much larger, maybe this 144 win, but again, you've got a 144 win over here as well. So that's probably just due to a gap in the direction of the short strikes. So I haven't been too impressed with that bot, um, but I just wanted to show it here. And then finally, uh, this one that I've also been testing for quite a while, this is the same as this original yellow bot. It is a 10 strike wide directional iron fly, three strikes in the direction, so it has a three strike skew. However, we're just going for 20% profit. And you can see it's made more money than uh, the 10% profit. So the win rate is quite low. Whoops, you can see that it is um, just about 56% win rate over the uh, last 34 trades, but it seems to be doing quite well. So I just wanted to put that one up there because it is one of the I don't know, it has become one of my standards, one of my controls in my testing, um, both this gray bot as well as the solid yellow bot. Um, these are the uh, sort of the benchmarks that I'm trying to compare everything to to see if we can tweak it, make it a little bit better, make it a little bit more consistent. So again, these are the, the longer uh, versions of my directional iron flies, either a three or a five DTE bot. And I also have another set of bots that are very short, and that would be my day trading directional iron fly bots. And I just made a video last week on that. And if you'd like to check that one out, um, you can see how that one has been performing and some of the tweaks that I've made with that particular bot. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll try to get back to them as quickly as possible. In the meantime, trade wisely and take care.